Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. The BTR-82 Armored Personnel Carrier represents the latest iteration of the BTR-80 family, serving as an enhanced version of the BTR-80A-S, initially introduced in 1994. Developed primarily as a complement and interim solution to the protracted and costly development of the BTR-90, the BTR-82 shares similarities with its predecessors but incorporates minor enhancements. Its public debut occurred in 2009, followed by successful trials in 2010, leading to production commencement the same year. The original BTR-82 saw deployment in the Russian Army in 2011, albeit in limited quantities, swiftly supplanted by the upgun BTR-82A variant, which enjoys widespread use among Russian military forces. Since 2010, the Russian Army ceased procurement of the older BTR-80 APCs, opting for the BTR-82 as a temporary solution until the introduction of the next-generation Boomerang Armored Personnel Carrier. While the BTR-82 boasts slight improvements in protection over its predecessors, offering enhanced defense against 7.62mm rounds compared to the all-around protection of the older BTR-80, its front arc can withstand 12.7mm rounds, indicating a marginal advancement in protection. Internally, the armored vehicle is equipped with a spall liner for added safety. Featuring a double hull floor design, the BTR-82 enhances protection against landmines and improvised explosive devices, albeit with blast protection not equivalent to modern Western armored personnel carriers, highlighting a design aspect that lags behind contemporary standards. The vehicle incorporates an improved automatic fire suppression system and is equipped with an NBC protection system to safeguard occupants in hazardous environments. Externally mounted weaponry characterizes the BTR-82, with the baseline variant armed with a 14.5mm heavy machine gun and coaxial 7.62mm machine gun. In contrast, the BTR-82A variant boasts a fully stabilized 30mm cannon, providing enhanced firepower. Notably, the same cannon is utilized on various Soviet-slash-Russian armored vehicles and select attack helicopters, utilizing HEFRAG and APT rounds for engagement with a maximum range of 2 km, day, and 800 meters, night, with the capability to target low-flying air threats due to its high elevation angle. Accommodating a crew of 3 and up to 7 fully equipped troops, the BTR-82 features firing ports and periscopes for infantry engagement, enabling troops to engage targets from within the armored hull. However, a significant drawback lies in its rear-mounted engine configuration, necessitating troops to disembark via side doors under direct enemy fire, posing a risk to occupants during ambush scenarios. Operational experience in various military conflicts has revealed a preference among troops to ride atop the armored personnel carrier without ballistic protection rather than inside it, citing increased survivability in ambush scenarios and landmine detonations. Despite this, the vehicle's thin armor remains vulnerable to anti-armor weapons, smart artillery shells, and loitering munitions, posing risks to occupants in the event of penetration. Powered by a new Cam OS 740.14 to 300 turbocharged diesel engine generating 300 horsepower, coupled with a manual transmission, the BTR-82 is equipped with an auxiliary power unit for system operation and battery charging when the main engine is offline. The vehicle features an improved suspension system, central tire inflation, and a self-recovery winch as standard, with optional run-flat tires enhancing operational endurance. Additionally, the BTR-82 is amphibious, propelled by a single water jet at the rear hull, affording a 12-hour endurance on water with full fuel tanks. Several variants of the BTR-82 exist, catering to diverse operational requirements and enhancements, including the BTR-82A, BTR-82M, BTR-82A1, BTR-82AT, Typhoon M Reconnaissance Vehicle, BTR-82 volts for the Russian Ministry of Internal Affairs, and specialized versions equipped with unmanned turrets, additional protection, and advanced reconnaissance capabilities, reflecting the adaptability and versatility of the BTR-82 platform across various mission profiles. That's all for now. See you later.